I'm here with uh, Christopher Epling, who lives near Elkhorn City, and he's basically, I guess you could call him an artist in residence. He's doing some very remarkable uh, things. The Appalachian Renaissance Initiative, our Race to the Top Grant, there was just some phenomenal things going yeah. on. But your project and the number of students that you are reaching is really fantastic. So uh, go ahead and describe what you're doing. Okay, sure, thank you. Well, it's, um, it, it, it is fantastic, and it's not because of me. It's because of KVEC and their belief in this program. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, I facilitate it, and that's my responsibility and honor, really. Yeah. Um, I'm an illustrator uh, and author, so I work fluently within the publishing industry already prior to this workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, back in 2011, I started visiting schools and uh, just to talk about my books and published yeah. works. And through that, though, the school said that the students were quiet, they were listening, and they asked if I had any type of workshops. So I started looking to that and um, created a curriculum that was based on creative writing and the visual arts. Uh -huh. And it supported and met in all the standards with language arts. And mm -hmm. um, the Kentucky Council of English Teachers actually um, have endorsed this workshop as a, as a fundamental resource for teachers. So what KVEC has done through this and the Promising Practices Summit, uh, 17 counties participated last school year um, over 200, almost 300 uh, books submitted by grades 3rd through 12th mm -hmm. um, for students created their own works and they were uh -huh. given a parameter to work in. Um, they had to be f fiction or non-fiction, okay, but to create a picture book, chapter book, or what we call graphic novels. Mm -hmm. And we had a bunch of students to participate, amazing works, and 10 uh -huh. of those are going to be published. Okay. And so I'm working with those 10 right now. Ted Hudson, the yeah. young man from Breathitt County, he's a junior. Um, Breath County High School uh -huh. was really the, the I guess the um, flagship um, example of what could yeah. have come because working with the Coleman Business uh, 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 College of Business at UPIC, uh -huh. uh, we're able to establish a pro forma or a business plan, mm -hmm. business model for these students so that they are able to have quantities and sell those quantities and generate their own revenue and teach them a little bit about business management. So yeah, well you know this is a, a large region. Um, the, the service area is almost the size of Connecticut, but we've got mountains divided the, the area. Yes, so how are you able to work with all these students? And you use technology in some ways, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. That's the amazing part. Um, 17 counties, you know, we, I go out to a different school every Monday, so we yeah. do a remote site, but we use the link session through the Mondo boards yeah. and smart boards. Uh -huh. So every Monday at 930 for eight weeks, mm -hmm. I meet with students through the Mondo board, through the link yeah. sessions. And they participate, and uh, we post tutorials on the holler.org uh -huh. uh, that supplement and help with that program uh, uh, each week. Yeah. yeah. And I've watched you interact how you've worked with the school. And I guess technically, you're able to work with more than two classrooms at a time. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, how many classrooms are usually um, do you engage? Oh, I think we, it was a ton. So 17 counties last time, and there were over 300 submissions. Okay. And, uh, the exact number, I'm not sure, but there was a ton of submissions. Entire, uh, this new workshop, the Leaders and Legends, it's happening now, uh -huh. um, currently, started October 19th. We have entire counties, every school in Leslie County, for instance, is okay. participating. So it's massive. It's, and uh -huh. we're able to do that through technology. We can reach all these schools and uh -huh. teach from one location and, and reach you know hundreds of schools. It's great. Okay. Um, and from your work, what type of talent do we have in terms of students oh, being artists, cartoonists, uh, writers? There's a big mix misconception, and I had it too growing up and, and in finishing high school, that you had to work for Disney or Pixar or Marvel Comics to have a career in art, and that's not true. Uh -huh. Regional imprints that handle regional-based um, areas, uh, students are able to carve out a living in this industry. It, it's a, it's yeah. a and the talent that we've seen to come from our region, it's insurmountable. I've yeah. been to over 400 schools since 2010. Tennessee, mm -hmm. Virginia, Ohio, yeah. um, all through Central Kentucky. And I can say earnestly that the, this region, our region here in Eastern Kentucky and the Quebec region has some of the most talented students that I've ever worked with, hands down. Okay. Absolutely. The virtual art gallery. Yes, sir. What is that? Well, it's virtual in the sense that it's all um, facilitated online, so yeah. um, we have the holler.org providing a, um, what we call the art holler, which is where we go to meet up and communicate. So we post resources, tutorials, 
teachers and students ask questions, they, mm -hmm. they share their work and, and their progress and challenges and that sort of thing. So the, the art gallery is actually virtual because it's all there based online. Yeah. And, um, but our focus, more than anything, is combining creative writing and the visual arts. So like the Leaders and Legends, uh, that's new. Yeah. Um, the Leaders and Legends, we're, we're closing the parameter a little bit different. Instead of just anything fiction or nonfiction, we're doing uh, each student from their specific region, um, such as, okay, we'll say, from let's say Pike County. Um, a student from Pike County may choose to write about um, Dr. Hambly mm -hmm. and the Cut Through Project as a, uh, a leader in a resource. Uh, Legends is dealing with myths and superstitions. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's, there's tons of myths that go on and, and you know, folklore passed down through yeah. generations. So they, that's their two options for this new program. So okay, it's great. working pretty well, good. Well, Chris, you're doing a great job. I know we, we get the feedback from the students. We're able to watch your work. So, I mean, you know, yeah. this is a, a talent you have, and it's just so great that you're using it to help our students. It's an honor, sir. It really is. Thank you. It's okay. an honor. Thanks well, Chris, a lot. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you.